In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you a nice way to make a simple, very clean split screen video where we have one clip playing on the right side of our screen and another playing independently on the left side of the screen. I'd like to show you an example here and watch for the next few seconds. You'll see two different clips of bikers at the same time on the screen. Now let's go back and look at how we did that. First of all, I need to go into my project assets and I have two biking clips. Let's take the one on the left, drag it down into video track two. I'm not going to use video track one yet. You'll see why in a moment. There are a couple of things I have to change on each of these videos. On this one, once I highlight it, I need to change the size and I need to change the location. Now to do this perfectly, when you film your first video and second video, you have to film it so that you know exactly where your main content is going to be. And we haven't done that here, so uh, it may be a little bit imperfect, but you'll see what we mean. So first of all, let's change the size. I'm going to go uh, to my panel on the right and click on the FX, my effects area. Now I need to crop it. But instead of looking for crops somewhere in here, what I can simply do is click in this box in the upper right with the magnifying glass and the little X and type in the word crop. And that will give me my crop tool. So I'll take it and drag it and drop it on my video on track number two. And it has the default of crop uh, left, right, top, and bottom. I'm going to set them all back to zero here. So what we're going to do, we're going to crop 25% off the left and 25% off the right, approximately. That will get it half size, width-wise. So let's go to the left. I can use my slider here. Or to be precise, let's do the uh, 2, 5 and head it in. On the right side, I'm going to go do an extra half of a percent, 25.5. And I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, so I've taken basically the middle out of this video. And then we're going to take it and we're going to, uh, under motion, we're going to move it to the left here. And we'll keep the scale the same. Uh, and I can change the position using these numbers here, or I can actually use the mouse and simply drag it over. And hopefully I'll get it uh, horizontally perfect. Okay, so that's video number uh, on video track two. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my timeline on the film strip look and I'm going to hide that. Now let's go to our other project, our other clip, and drag it on video track three. And we'll highlight this again. And then we should be able to see our clip. This clip we're going to do the same to. Uh, we're going to, uh, with it highlighted, I'm going to click on the effect. I've got the crop already. I'm going to drag it and drop it. And uh, we're going to uh, make the top and the bottom full. And this time we're going to also go for 25% on the right. And we'll go 25.5% on the left. Okay, and with that size adjusted, I'm going to drag this to the other, the other direction and visually move it to the left side. Okay, that looks pretty good there. Now what I'm going to do is turn the other side on so you can see it. And now when I play it, I see the uh, one screen on the left side, the one screen on the light, right side, and because I've got that half of percent on each video, I have a nice little margin in the middle. But what I'd like to do is I say, I don't want this to be black. I want the area between them to be a different color. So here we simply go to our video track one, and we're going to add a white background. I simply go to my text tool, click on new text, go to default text. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the add text part and take that down completely. 
and we're going to go to our shapes I'll go to my rectangle I'll just make a big white rectangle to cover the entire screen and there I have it so now I have a white background but it put it on the wrong track I'm going to take it and drag it down put it on video track number one and we'll drag it for the length of the uh, shortest clip here so now what I have is I have a white border if I wanted to change my title text down here to some other color I could make it any color that's available to me in my color palette right now I chose white and so now I'm going to the third thing I'm going to do I created a title earlier I'll take and drag that on the left side and here I have my team 2 and team 1 at the same time on the screen labeled accordingly the only thing I would need to do is go back in and change the vertical position of each of these clips slightly because I have a little bit of margin where they're down too far but that will uh, that shows you how to take a very simple uh, split screen make it nice and clean and uh, attractive for your audience mm -hmm.